Open Range Light 274 RLS by Highland Ridge RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this at only 6,905 pounds is one of the most awesome uh, half ton towable couples campers I've ever seen. But you could say that on most of the open range lights. They do such a good job on these. There are some optional pieces of equipment here. Like for instance, we got a whole front nose cap going on. That's an upgrade. The one we have in stock could be equipped differently. This video is kind of here for informational purposes. So keep that in mind. But this is pretty close to how we're going to keep them. Um, big, you know, bigger trailers are, uh, you know, conducive to bigger features. Like we've got a larger, wider, taller pass through storage here. And they, it's all finished off. Nothing is left to chance at open range. Everything is premeditated everything is a little bit sharper like the whole front nose cap here I don't know if this is going to translate well in the video let me clean off a spot right here I uh, just came in from the delivery driver but you can see maybe it's a little bit modeled down here and it's nice and smooth they have a near invisible layer of diamond shield on the bottom there so that you still have stone deflection that is something that not a lot of trailers with full nose caps will do is give you that stone deflection so brand new they look killer don't get me wrong because they but and they're like wow you know we could save a dollar on this one because they miss little details like that. This is not the cheapest trailer on the market, but this is perfect if you're looking for that retirement RV and you want it to be the last one. That's the level we're looking at. Now, a couple big things here. This trailer is physically bigger. It, it doesn't just look that way. It, it is. It is four inches wider in the body and six inches deeper in the slide. It's almost a foot bigger in the living room than anything else out there and at least six inches taller than industry standard uh, with a minimum seven foot interior height. That is awesome. Now, here's the next awesome part about this. This has, uh, this is built to the exact same specs and standards as the open range light fifth wheel. Um, they don't make one bigger or better than the other. One is just on a flat deck and one has a gooseneck. That's it. So um, this has the same insulation package, the same zero to 100 degree rated insulation package as a big 40 foot fifth wheel here in a 6,905 pound half ton towable couples camper. Fully enclosed, forced air heated, insulated underbelly. Now to keep this big trailer steady on your campsite, we put on these strong arm stabilizer bars that you see right here. And those are on the front and rear jacks and they do a monster job of keeping the trailer from rocking and rolling around. Again, like a fifth wheel, we have a, uh, uh oh, got it locked up. What, why did I lock this back up? What a bonehead move. Hold on, Let's see if I can do this with one hand like an idiot. This is my left hand and my left hand's the one that can't. Oh, look at that, I got it, all right. We've got a fully enclosed docking center down here to keep all your hoses and cables and connectors and everything out of the way. That's your outside shower down there, by the way, too. Um, the, uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, your hoses and cables go down through that little port through the skirt in the bottom. Slam latch doors that are easier to operate. Larger fifth wheel grade tires, again, not built like a travel trailer. Another area where this is different from a lot of trailers is not only are the sidewalls laminated, but your slide walls are also laminated. It's part of Open Range's 10-point AccuSlide system to make sure that slide just doesn't get out of square. If that slide's not square, then it's going to leak and it's going to be problematic and it's going to break and that can't happen here. That's what they do this for. Um, this uh, rides on an equal flex suspension system. If you don't know what that means, it's got rubber shock dampening in it so that it doesn't jump around behind your vehicle as much. Those shocks and jolts going down the road are soaked up at the road level. The black box up here is a prep for a backup camera. All windows are UV tinted. All windows open in some fashion or another for ventilation. Sidewall windows on the slides are uh, sliding windows for max airflow. Everything else is frameless for just that cutting edge look that you love an open range for. I love their color contrast. The color package on these is awesome. LED tail lights for longevity and safety purposes. And they mount them high. When, when you're alert, when somebody spikes the brakes in front of you, you notice how you snap your head up? And that's why they mount the tail lights higher. It's safer. Now they also use nicer aluminum screw trim, not cheaper plastic screw trim, so that you don't have shrinking and expansion going on here that can work its way into a leak over time. Corner seams are one of your number one leak positions. Um, now it's, you know, as close to eliminated as it can be. The uh, roof up here is a fully walk-on roof. we got plywood roof decking, uh, 3 8 plywood roof decking on a 5-inch truss system. Uh, we've got uh, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking with longitudinal 2x3s under that. What all that means in English is there's a lot of meat in these bones. This is really strong structurally. Full walk-on roof. The roof skin itself is different. It, this is one of the very few in the industry that doesn't use the exact same rubberized roof skin as everyone else. It's got TPO, Alpha Ply, Diflex, EPDM. All these names are the same, but guess what? The product is very 
virtually identical. That's why they all have the exact same guarantee on them. Open Range is this pliable PVC roof skin that uh, does not require treatment to maintain its warranty. It has the best warranty of any roof skin in the business. Um, but you really need to look at not the skin, but what's under it, and that's what this is about. Now, a little bit different, their King Jack antenna system here. It gives you superior range, superior reception. In English, that means more channels. <laughs> there you go. Little uh, outside uh, grill hookup down here, by the way, as well. They hide, well, really hidden up under there. There you go. Um, easy triple entry step instead of a double. Wider 30 inch entry door. Easy one touch hand or uh, larger folding handle. Now in, uh, this is a friction door by the way, so it's going to kind of catch itself. A little bit of a friction door, and uh, it's not the hard. It's not the ones you really got to struggle with. And instead of a screen door, they build the screen into the door. This is a big slider panel. You do have a privacy shade you can pull down, so it's a one piece door. It's just a little bit simpler and easier. Less things to you know break and go loose and wiggle. Um, Stepping inside here, these just never fail to disappoint. I don't care how many I see, I still love coming into open ranges. And it's just smarter things like this. You take this for granted, it's dumb, but you walk in and there's one light switch on the wall and boom, all the lights. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That is smarter, easier design and camping. This interior decor is called Sonic. This year's Sonic is really kind of a mishmash uh, push together of last year's Ivory and Sonic. They kind of use the Ivory pillows on the Sonic couch. I think it looks better than it ever has. The, the accents and the color contrast is a little sharper this year. I like it a lot better. So once again, extra tall ceilings, guys. This has minimum seven foot tall ceilings. And remember, the body is wider and this slide is deeper. So this is a huge living room. Instead of a long living room they made it a wide living room that's what's cool about this you're not towing quite as much behind your vehicle so uh let's get started here there's a lot of things to talk about like let's just hit this rolling island right here this is a rolling island slash um like uh table it can be anything you want you see you've got the dual leaves that can flip up to form into a table you've got triple full extension ball bearing glide drawers on this side and over here this thing has so much storage that your storage has storage. <laughs> and uh, if you do have guests, what you can do is flip this table up over here, move it in front of your two beautiful wall-hugging uh, rocking recliners, and you've got a pair of these pull-out chairs right here that you can pull out, flip out, even with one hand, and have uh, guest seating, you know, so you have chairs on both sides of it. This is one of those true Swiss Army, do it all in one RV kind of features that you get only in an open range. Uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, 33% bigger than travel trailer standards. Power outlets hidden back there in the kitchen. We've got power outlets under the kitchen cabinets on both sides so you can run all kinds of appliances. They give you a skylight for illumination and a vent to exhaust heat while you're cooking. They have race track ducted AC systems. The race, the uh, thing loops around at the end so you get air circulation and flow instead of back pressure and poor airflow. That's the open range advantage. Um, all Furion electronic uh, entertainment system. Bluetooth soundbar, Bluetooth AM, FM, CD, DVD, uh, stereo system, inside outside speakers, microphone for hands-free calling on your freaking phone, man. Does everything. We've even got a uh, uh, little, as my grandfather called it, Baptist medicine cabinet back here. Some people call it a DVD shelf. Call it whatever you want. I don't care. Um, the TV. Furion TVs are the most highly rugged tested thing out there. You think... I'm violent shaking this stuff. You think I'm violent punching the sidewalls of these things. You should see the testing they put these through. Get on YouTube, look up Furion USA, and look at their vibration test video. It will shock you how rugged those things are. I believe in it so much, I bought that exact TV and put it in uh, my... Uh, uh, treadmill room because it's outside it's in our little mud room where it's uh not climate controlled so i wanted something that could be hot cold vibration resistant i mean anything that tv does everything electric space heating fireplace by the way so you don't need to burn up your propane to heat the interior of the rv we've got a uh, uh, a big high to bed rear wall sofa and because this thing is uh, a fixed sofa instead of chairs that you could turn they had to build the slide out in front of the sofa that means you don't have to lift tuck twist 
move stuff to run your slides in. By the way, well, now that I say that, I just shot myself in the foot because the island actually stows between these two recliners going down the road. So there, you got me. But hey, at least you know. Um, side stands with power outlets, and because the trailer's wider, you get bigger side stands on both sides of uh, the sofa. Taller trailer means big windows plus storage instead of big windows or storage. And is better than or. Cabinetry is screwed together, not stapled. We have hidden hinge cabinets so that when we close this thing, it looks just beautiful and clean. Um, again, these are true wall-hugging rocker recliners. And uh, what's really nice is because the island's designed to slide in between those during transit, it, it's a very wide slide with lots of extra um, space in there. So you're not going to have to worry about your armrests bumping into one another, or you could just put a little stand between those if you were so inclined. The uh, kitchen, I'm going to slide this island out of the way so you just get an awesome look at the kitchen. How cool is that? Hardwood tabletop on that, by the way. Very rugged. Um, so, you know, storage below the oven, the lower kitchen storage alone. Just what's in the picture frame right here is more than a lot of trailers have in their entirety. And then you get up here and look at this cabinet space and realize how much more there is still to go. Open range has the best kitchens. That's a big, bold statement. And it's one that I believe. And I carry a lot of different brands here and they're all the best at something. Um, there are trailers that do different things, maybe a little bit better than this one, but my God, for a couple's coach, this thing's awesome. Purpose-built wastebasket space. Six full extension drawers. So just loads of easy access storage. We have pressed resin sealed waterproof membrane type countertops here that with matching sink covers are an actual full countertop. You can actually use this like countertop. And that's a stone cast sink that's not going to melt if you use uh, hot water in there. Um, even, you know, pull out sprayer faucet, everything. And again, just a little one-touch Mm, utility features. I like stuff like that. Uh, double entry bathroom, so you can get to it from either the living space if you have someone on your hide bed or at the bedroom, or just either side of the bed is easy to get to. Uh, again, just one switch for all your lights. We've got a bigger sink that an adult can actually get their hands in. Big, big medicine cabinet. So if you want to see something ugly, you can look at me standing in front of this thing. <laughs> Uh, extra interior height means extra shower height. I mean extra extra shower height even on my toes. I can't touch the ceiling panels of this thing. I'm a big tall 6'3ish type guy. If you've seen my videos you know that because I say it all the time. Little detail stuff like a door stopper so this handle doesn't smash your, your cabinets here. Just better pre-planning, premeditated, better thought out stuff. You know that thing doesn't cost a lot of money. But a lot of brands won't put one in there because it costs something. That's how nitpicky some brands can be. Open range, again, not designed to be the cheapest one on the market. They can do those extra niceties. And a seven foot tall, extra wide, double linen space, which is bonus drawer space down here because <laughs> why not at this point, right? Why not just have more storage? Um, the bedroom, let's go visit the bedroom. We, again, sliding pocket door here and just even nicer, you know, hardware on this instead of a cheap plastic thing. We've got a nice piece of fabric. It's not going to rip apart on us. We have a true 80 inch queen bed here. Uh, Denver pillow top mattress. There is a uh, storage under it. Easy lift storage that, uh, the bed base is built a little bit taller. So you have that second sliding storage tray there and that folding chair I showed you, it goes down in there. That's its, uh, its partner down there still folded up in the nice little protective shipping foam. Beautiful mattress on this. And I love that the, the bedspread is, you know, purpose built and radius in, in nature because the trailer is wider. We have more walk around bed space than basically anything else out there. And again, 6,905 pounds, bigger, wider, still not heavier. Um, that's what happens when you use better materials like aluminum and plywood instead of, uh, you know, press board. <laughs> What's heard? guy called press board beaver puke that is just my favorite but that's my sense of humor so bedside stands for cpap machines there are power outlets hidden way up here the other side also has a, a, a double usb and 12 volt like cigarette lighter style plug on it Do they even call them cigarette lighter plugs anymore i don't know tv can be mounted here on the wall if you're so inclined oops hit the light switch behind me you know extra overhead storage wider wardrobe closets for more storage because it's a wider trailer all the stuff adds up this, and here's that little, this is how easy, like the little privacy shade on the entry door is. Everything is just simpler, easier, better in here. And that's why it's an open range. It's not everybody's RV. Some people don't like them. I get that. You know, that's subjective. 
But this is made, this is retirement grade. Uh, this is made to be the last one you ever need to own. Not everybody needs a 40 foot fifth wheel to retire. Some people are a little more modest. Some people just want a nice quality RV they can take around without a one ton truck. That's exactly what this is. And again, with a full insulation package that'll match any fifth wheel on the market, it is a very, very strong prospect for you and your family's investment. Now we do hitching, pieces, parts, financing, brake controls, trades. Uh, we do trucks. If you need the half ton to go with this thing, we got it, guys. We do it all. We just need the chance. And I don't care how far away you live, we deliver these things all over the place, all the time, every day. That's how we sell, we're what, about 1,300 this year. There are some places that are a little bigger, but not many. We do. We, we try real hard to work close with our folks to have fair deals, even for long distance customers. So. Give us the opportunity. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.